In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a forward and reverse ABORH type. First thing you're going to need is for your forward, you're going to need your anterior or AB and your anti D. You're also going to need, um, for your reverse typing, you're going to need your reagent red cells, A1 and B. And then you're also going to need some tubes and some plasma and some red cells. Now these are red cells that have been spun so I need to make a um, suspension and I'm shooting for approximately 3% and I'm using physiological saline for this. Um, if you're not exactly sure what 3% should look like you can use your reagent red cells to make a comparison. Just give it a good mix and the reagent red cells should be about 2 to 4 percent so if they look the same you're pretty close alright um, once you have all your stuff together you can go ahead and you can start to label all of your tubes and then from there we're going to start with the four we're going to add one drop of all of these reagents so one drop of each antisera into the appropriate tube so that was the A then you add the anti B And then lastly for the forward is the anti-D antisera. Remember just one drop for each of these. And then moving on to the reverse portion, um, you're going to use the reagent red cells. And once again, it's going to be one drop of each one of these in the corresponding tube. And just make sure you mix them up a little bit because um, they tend to settle the red cells at the bottom of these reagents. As you'll see here with this, the B, so you can see the cells at the bottom. So just give it a little mix until the cells are gone off the bottom there, and then just one drop. And then from here we're going to go ahead and, uh, I guess you could start either way with these, but I go ahead and start with the plasma, and for plasma you're going to add two drops of the patient plasma to each one of the reverse tubes or the reagent red cells, and then with the patient red blood cells it's just one drop in each of the antisera tubes. And after you've added your patient specimens to each of the tubes, you go ahead and you centrifuge this, and then we'll move on to the agglutination viewer. And what you're basically trying to do here is to gently decant the cell button and just remove it from the bottom of that tube. You can see there we're getting a zero reaction. All of the red blood cells from the cell button are completely coming off. There's no agglutinations. Again, with the B, this is the forward that we're doing here. Once again, we're not getting any agglutination when we decant the cell button or resuspend it. You see there's a zero in there. Sorry if this is a little awkward to see. And then moving on to the anti-D. Now this is the first one we're going to get a positive with. You'll see that this has a 4 plus really good cell button. Glutination right there. And from that forward you know this is an O pause patient. And then with the reverse, both the A1 and the B reagent red cells are both 4 positive. You can see that single cell button. And that's basically it. I um, just want to make sure you don't shake these too hard. And uh, there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video.